premium update. Hey guys, it's me, uh, PewDiePie Rick Rag, back at it again with another video. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at the Furlands premium pack, uh, because, yeah, that came out. So the first item we're gonna look at is the pork knuckle, which is just a slab of meat on a plate with a fork. Now, this fork is actually really detailed in comparing, uh, in comparison to the old fork, uh, that we had in ATF, uh, rather than Furlands. So yeah, it's a high quality fork, uh, that's not saying much, it's a fork, nonetheless, but, yeah, it's a high quality fork, uh, and a slab of meat, and a gray plate, and that's it. Uh, I, I think it's fine. Uh, you still slit your wrist open, though, uh, instead of actually grabbing the food. Uh, so. Next up, we're gonna be looking at the Dorvin Tankard. Now, uh, I, I, I may or may not have run this down as the Diggy Diggy Hole Cup. Uh, but th that that's besides the point. This is actually a really good model. Uh, high quality. You know, it's it, it, it it's a good model. It's not blocky. It's not. It's not really. It, it, there's pretty much nothing bad about it outside of the hand clipping into it. Uh, maybe if it actually grabbed the handle, then you know, then it that wouldn't happen. But nonetheless, it, it, I I like it. It's really high quality. It it's not terrible. It's actually really good next up we're going to be looking at the cold fire torch now the cold fire torch uh it, it matches the medieval theme of farlands perfectly uh it certainly has a bit more effort than the normal torch and you know just like the others this is fucking great the only problem that i have is that you can't like sling it on your back or something so that you have constant light but that's understandable so that you know you don't set yourself on fire or something uh either way the blue flame uh you know kind of cliche but you know it works uh i have no problems with this another good item next up is going to be the war modic now the war matic is a hammer uh again a detailed hammer all of these items are extremely detailed a lot of effort put into them a lot of a lot of care, uh, you know. It's pretty much just a sledgehammer, uh, but not, you know, not a sledgehammer. Obviously, uh, use the same uh, sledgehammer animations actually. Uh, but yeah, it's just a hammer, and uh, that's about it. Next up, we are going to be looking at the alchemist's fire. Now, this is essentially just a Molotov. Uh, it. It looks kind of similar to the military canteen from ATF's um, uh, premium pack. Uh, it also has a bottle look to it, uh, which the military canteen doesn't. Uh, but, you know, overall it's just a reskin of the Molotov from ATF's, I don't know, whichever box it's from. Uh, it's a solid reskin, I can't give it shit. Uh, it looks fine. Uh, it's basically just a Molotov, though. So, you know, probably one of the weaker items from this entire pack. Next up, we are going to be looking at the Wilderness Ranger armor. Now, uh, the Wilderness Ranger is obviously a morph, and uh, just like everything else, it's pretty good. Except the Molotov. Molotov is a uh, meh. But, uh, yeah, this is probably... I don't know if I'd put this above the uh, ATF morph. Uh, from the premium pack, but it's good. Uh, I like the arm, uh, armor, I guess. It, it, I prefer that much more than the ATF one. Uh, it's solid. The chest piece I also really like. Uh, so yeah, it's a solid, uh, item. I have nothing else to say, really. Howdy there, gamer. Welcome to another one of these, uh, outro things. And, uh, yeah, so, Duxi is, uh, Duxi is advancing, he was planning to make a video about something before I make a video about something, just as he did before. This is un unacceptable, uh, behavior. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, also, we have some Christmas stuff on the Bobinks store, uh, so if you want to support this stuff, then, you know, you can do that, or you cannot do that. 
uh, I, I don't really care, uh, bye.